Hello and welcome to the Fast Farming Community Guild Wars 2 Fishing Goat Farm Guide. After watching this video, you will know everything about its masteries, fishing power, fishing buffs, and how to maximize your gold per hour. The fishing gold per hour lies on several variables which will be covered by this guide. First of all, your fishing masteries your personal skill level, in terms of how efficiently you maneuver your skimmer and how fast you can complete the fishing minigame, your fishing setup, which basically will determine your fishing power, which consists of lure, fishing buffs, fishing buff food, and your location, if it's day or night time, and your fishing bait to catch the specific legendary fish. First of all, we will talk about masteries, which are mandatory before you even want to start fishing in Guild Wars 2. The fishing masteries will increase your fishing range, fishing power and XP gain. In terms of fishing power, every fishing mastery will increase your fishing power by 20, in total to 100. Skill free adds 100 fishing power with the fishing on a full tank buff while being nourished, optimally with 150 fishing power buff food like whitefish sushi. It is faster to move from one fishing node to the other with your skimmer mount instead of your skiff. Therefore the skiff masteries can be neglected, except for the most important skiff mastery 4, Fishing Party Buff, which increases on the first catch by 50 fishing power and every following 25 catches by 50 fishing power to a total of 300 extra fishing power. It's not mandatory if you're in a fishing party with other members who have this mastery, but if you're planning on fishing solo, it is. It is possible to gain the fishing party catches buff from any random player on the map as long as it is visible in the buff bar of the player. You are only able to receive the fishing party buff once the random player invited you to the group or squad. You will instantly receive the buff on entering any party or squad member's skiff. The buff can be regained anytime from any party or squad member after leaving the skiff, the map instance or the game itself, as long as someone in the group or squad has the fishing party buff. You can also create afterwards your own party or squad and you will still retain the inherited fishing party buff. Make sure to always weapon swap on the third and last node catch to save the aftercast time. Use your skimmer instead of the skiff to move faster from one fish node to another. Once you leave the skiff you will lose the association to your skiff, which is shown as a debuff in your buff bar. You will not lose your fishing buff stacks as long as you place your skiff within the time frame. You will lose however your fishing buff stacks if your skiff is destroyed by mobs and your debuff timer runs out. If the fishing nodes are further apart and your debuff timer is running out, you can just place the skiff over and over again and hover with your skimmer above it to refresh your fishing party buff without actually stopping. Your fishing power can be found in the hero menu under fishing tab, which is part of your fishing setup. It determines how easily you are able to catch fish in general and how more frequently you can catch legendary fish. On Fast Farming Community you will find a small research on 625 fishing power versus 875 fishing power on Crystal Oasis map, which increases your gold per hour by a decent margin. Therefore make sure to have your fishing power maximized for a maximum gold per hour. This checklist will help you to maximize your fishing power, 25% from the fishing rod, 100% from lure. 100% from fishing masteries, which I explained earlier, 100% fishing on a full tank while being nourished with fishing buff food, 150% whitefish sushi buff food or ascended fishing power buff food, 300% while having the fishing party buff on 99 stacks, 100% correct bait for the legendary fish you want to catch, macro bait has 150% fishing power but are used to catch very specific legendary fish. In total you should have always 875% any bait or 925% with macro bait. Another optional fishing buff can increase your fishing power by 50%, which can be acquired from the hard NPC vendor in Saitang province. The tips on fishing buff persists over map, but you cannot stack this buff and it only lasts for one hour. Lure and bait can be found at fishing vendors close to waypoints on every UD map with the exception of Saitang province at the introduction to the fishing hard NPC. The fishing gold per hour with best bait choices and fishing power can be found on the Fast Farming Community website. The fishing page contains a variety of locations with full day and nighttime rotations or separated day or nighttime only rotations. By clicking on the blue hyperlinks you can find a specific farm rotation and fishing node spawns for the specific location. The gold per hour values are blurred out due to ever changing values. 
For the current up-to-date gold per hour values, click the link in the video description or comment section below. The day and night cycle plays an important role on which legendary fish you can catch. Go to the game options menu and change the in-game clock to Tyrion time or your own server time. The following tables contain the 2 hour day, dusk, night and dawn phases in Tyrion and Cantha with Tyrion and Greenwich time for reference. RNG plays sometimes a factor for short fishing sessions. Even though having maximum fishing power, it can happen that you will not catch a legendary fish for some time. So good luck on your fishing gold farm and thanks for watching.